the networking opportunities here at CPPCon are well above and beyond any other C++ conference that I've ever been to. Hi, I'm Ben Bakel. I work at Kitware. Uh, I do build systems. Uh, I work on CMake. I use CMake a lot. And this is what does CMake, a CMake developer want from CMake? First off, there are no promises about anything mentioned here. I am not speaking for the CMake team. And there's no specific order to these wish, kit, wish list items. However, if you're interested in seeing anything, you can contact Kitware's contact, uh, contracting department. We'll gladly talk to you. Uh, so the first thing, types. Currently, everything in CMake is a string. Every time you say, hey, can you like get me list item three, CMake will go to the string and say, hey, I will parse you as a list. Get me item number three, please. The next time you call it, it'll say, oh, hey, you're a new string. I'm going to go and get you as a list again. Um, It'd be nice to have types in CMake itself, in the CMake code itself, but I imagine we will get at a realistic goal is that CMake remembers what the thing as a list is. Same thing with JSON or paths, lists of paths. Um, I would really just like to get rid of the, oh, that's a list, forgets a list. Ooh, a list. Uh, variable name sanity. Currently, you can do, you can set the variable named zero to one. Um, <laughs> Things break when you do that. Uh, debugging that was fun. Um, so we'd really just like to get rid of that. Um, however, somebody's probably doing something like that and it works for them. So not just that easy. Uh, better code gen. Currently, the best state of the art is add custom command, add custom target in a function and you call it all the time. Um, I would love to have something like Ninja where you have rules and then you say, using that rule, do it for this file, do it for this file, do it for this file. I think this is possible. Um, however, dynamic outputs will still be a problem. You'll need to know, given the input, what the output is without looking at its content. Uh, a better make files generator. Uh, currently, we use a static three-level recursion build system. It'd be wonderful to make this something like Ninja, where there's a global build graph where some part of make can look at everything that's happening instead of nested parts not being able to talk to each other. I think this is possible, but it is a lot of work. Um, and it'll get us module support, C++ module support in make file generator. Uh, file sets for all the things. Uh, we currently have file sets for C++ modules and headers. With this, CMake understands what your sources are gonna do better. We can make better build graphs. We can do more things for you. For example, if you use header sets, um, we can just generate your target include directories for you for in your build and your install tree and all that stuff. Um, ideally, we'd be able to have custom file sets and you could just say, hey, this is a cute resource file. Uh, and CMake would just know from find package cute to do the right thing. Same with say protobuf files. Um, I have source file sets implemented. This lets the um, build graph be a little bit better and then more parallel. And then it's probably medium difficulty once we have code gen, uh, the other wish list item. And lastly, declarative input. Um, today we're very imperative. Uh, there's not really any way to even do expressions in CMake unless you're in an if statement. Um, Ideally, we'd have no imperative code, but I don't think that's really possible. But I have ideas on this. Um, people have asked me, and I call it my 10-year plan. They ask me what, from when it, that 10-year plan starts, and I say whenever we get to start working on it. Um, thank you.